me, put a one in the chat. You guys haven't seen me for a while. So here's my application for request for documents right here. Of course, I redacted some of the stuff because I will probably be uploading it. But I want you. I, I want to. Um, I want you to. Uh, I want to read my uh, request to them. It says, "To whom it may concern, my name is Andrew Griffin. I'm with the Bullhorn Betty Channel, seeking any and all documents related to Kylie Rodney available to the media." In my quest for truth, I put in a lot of public record request forms. One of them in the Kylie Rodney case. Missed a very important email. Yes, you guys see that correctly. You see that correctly. Now, this is also, this is also um, just a, I, I want to make sure that uh, some haters out there that just, just absolutely want to act like uh, I, I'm not credentialed, I'm not part of media and stuff like that. Let's just, you know, call it what it is. I am. So they can keep going around with that nonsense, but let's just go through this. Friday, September 2nd at 7.26 p.m., I got an answer from Administrative Support Services. I had sent my request on August 25th for the following records in Kylie's case. Her autopsy report, her toxicology, all related medical examiner reports for Kylie May Rodney, 16, regarding what- Betty at gmail.com. And it says, Public Records um, Act Request. Dear Ms. Griffin, pursuant to California Code Section 6253C, we are writing you in response to your inqu inquiry that you made to Nevada County Sheriff's Office under uh, California Public Records Act, which we received September 10th uh, for the following records. Coroner's report for Kylie Rodney. The Sheriff's Office uh, does have possession of the records responsive to your request. It should be noted, however, the investigation is not complete. And the Sheriff's Office does have possession of your records responsive to your request. It should be noted, however, the investigation is not complete and is considered ongoing at this time. Once the investigation is complete, release will be pursuant to all privileges and or exemptions that may apply. They advise me to see Government Code Section 6254K. Once review and redaction, if necessary, is completed, we will send the files through a file share their service via is email. completed we will uh, if necessary is completed we will uh, re, uh we will send the files through a file share service via email we it, we expect the investigation review and redaction process to be completed by november 1st 2022 if we it, expect the investigation review and redaction processes to be completed by november 1st 2022 that's called foia and here at ABC Action News, we often use FOIA to get inside information about government dealings. But did you know that you also have the very same access that we do to all of this information? Haters out there that just just absolutely want to act like uh, I'm not credentialed, I'm not part of media and stuff like that. Let's just you know call it what it is. I am. The principal so. reason why I should delete my social media, and if so, what is it? Mm. There are two. One of them is for your own good, and the other is for society's good.